In the 1980s, Queensland was known as the Moonlight State. A dark underbelly of police corruption. I've decided that the government will initiate an independent inquiry. Out of that sinister chapter, the groundbreaking Fitzgerald inquiry led to today's modern watchdog, the Crime and Corruption Commission. But now it's facing its own crisis. Public confidence in our integrity institution, knowing that within the bowels of government, uh, what's going on is capable of being scrutinised by a strong anti-corruption body. I think it's about making sure that its powers are appropriate and proportionate. It's a critical point. Uh, the Triple C has been um, under immense pressure for quite some time because of their lack of impartiality. At the centre of this crisis is the recent head of the corruption watchdog, Alan McSporran. The experienced prosecutor took over in 2015 and set about exposing perceived corruption and donor influence in local government. Alan McSporran achieved an enormous amount in a very important period of the Commission. The lifting of the lid on local government corruption in Queensland resulted in a large number of successful prosecutions in Ipswich City Council, for example. One of the Triple C's biggest scalps is the corrupt former mayor of Ipswich, Paul Pasali. He's serving a seven and a half year prison sentence after pleading guilty to more than 30 charges, including official corruption, fraud and sexual assault. It was hugely significant for the people of Ipswich and it was satisfying for us to see at last that somebody was taking um, allegations of corruption and misconduct in Ipswich seriously. The complex corruption investigation that proved to be Alan McSporran's undoing was here in Logan City. The Triple C charged seven Logan councillors and the then mayor with fraud, claiming they'd acted dishonestly by terminating the council's CEO. All eight lost their jobs, including veteran councillor Russell Lutton, despite the charges later being dropped. I lost a job that I loved. I'd represented the people of Division 2 in Logan City Council for 34 years. I won 10 elections. My reputation um, as a councillor um, was there and it got, kept getting me re-elected. Cases have been uh, put through, uh, charged by the Triple C, but have fallen over due to a lack of evidence. We need to restore the confidence of the public in the Triple C. At the centre of the controversy was new CEO Sharon Kelsey. She had a critical performance review led by Mayor Luke Smith. Two days later, Kelsey decided to become a whistleblower, alleging misconduct by Luke Smith, and months later she was sacked. Kelsey lost her unfair dismissal case and plans to appeal. She has vehemently rejected concerns about her performance. Everyone I spoke to said it's an industrial relations matter and it was tested in the industrial relations court by her and thrown out. New Logan Mayor Darren Power, who was a councillor at the time, voted to keep Sharon Kelsey. And Miss Kelsey, you know, she's been put on trial. You know, she's had her backside well and truly kicked. The Triple C's case against the former Mayor Luke Smith is still alive. He's been committed to stand trial on official corruption and other charges, charges he's vowed to fight. A parliamentary inquiry questioned Alan McSporran about his efforts to assist Sharon Kelsey in her industrial relations case. It found the watchdog had acted outside its powers and the chair had failed to ensure it acted impartially. That's, that's absurd. I reject it. It's utterly absurd. You closed your mind completely to avenues by which detachment might have been reintroduced. I don't accept that, but we did what we could and always intended to do. There were corporate government governance issues that permeated right through the organisation. As the chair of such an important integrity watchdog, the, the buck stops with him. If someone came to me in my office as mayor and asked for advice about being a whistleblower. I don't know whether I could actually tell them the truth about what they were in for. We've got an onus under the Act to report corruption. But I can understand why people look the, the other way these days. 
Alan McSporran resigned last week, saying he was quitting because his relationship with the committee had broken down, but strongly defending his record. I think the Triple C have got responsibility to obviously look after their whistleblowers. If whistleblowers don't, if, you know, if there's um, legislation in place that says basically whistleblowers can't be helped, then I can understand the for all, but that legislation is there. Amidst growing political pressure, yesterday the Premier announced she's bringing Tony Fitzgerald out of retirement to lead a Royal Commission style inquiry. Who better to oversee an inquiry into aspects of the Triple C than the man who created it? Now we need uh, the next chapter to be written uh, to ensure that the public um, and the people of this state, that people of this state, have absolute confidence uh, in the Triple C. It's not just the corruption watchdog under siege. The outgoing integrity commissioner has made allegations a laptop in her office was wiped and a former state archivist has raised separate probity concerns. All eyes will be on the new Fitzgerald inquiry to restore faith in efforts to fight corruption. That's why both uh, this second Fitzgerald inquiry um, and the other reforms that need to follow, the overhaul of Queensland's Whistleblower Protection Act, these uh, are such important opportunities to make sure that the system is as strong as it should be. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.